What's going on guys? It's me, Lindsay, with BitcoinLindsay.com. And pretty much like whatever side of the fence you're on about Bitcoin. Um, some people may think that it's the great, the greatest thing that's ever happened in the world. <laughs> and then you have some people who just think that it's a bubble, it's a fad, it's gonna go away. It's just the internet thing that you know only internet people are doing. <laughs> And on top of it, it is a very small percentage of the world's population who are actually using Bitcoin and making transactions with it, all right? So what I want to share with you quickly in this video, two ways, two things that are currently happening right now that are actually going to help catapult Bitcoin into the mainstream, okay? Two things I want to share with you. So go ahead, stay tuned, and I'll share that with you right now. So right now we're looking at CNBC.com and it was released earlier this morning that Jack Dorsey's company Square is actually right now testing support for Bitcoin through his cash payments app. Now a small group of people already have access to this um, on their app and over time it will roll out so that everyone else can have access to it. Now what they're saying right here is that on Wall Street when this information was announced that the um, shares for Square actually went up just because of this information. And some of the analysts believe that it could place Square in an early mover pos uh, position as a mainstream financial tech company providing cryptocurrency services. And they believe that PayPal will be positioned to do, such, um, do the same thing as well. Now, the reason why this is um, huge is because, think about it, just like how I mentioned earlier, so many people think that Bitcoin is just an internet thing. Maybe just a few people heard about it and only like maybe a very small percentage of the world's population is actually using Bitcoin. But think about how many people have the Square Cash app on their phone. Now, for somebody who's never heard of it before, they're going to pull up that Cash app. They're going to see where they can have an option to accept or receive, um, I mean, accept or send out Bitcoin. And they're probably going to figure out, okay, what the hell is Bitcoin? Okay? So even... Even if that were to happen, even if people still don't understand the, you know, what Bitcoin is, the fact that they see that on this app, they're going to take the um, initiative, come online and Google what is Bitcoin. Okay. So like I said, even if people don't really understand it right off the bat, even if they don't have Bitcoin of their own or don't know what it is, it's part of branding. They're getting their name out. Not they're getting their name out there, but Bitcoin is getting out there to the mainstream. All right. So that's huge. Now, another thing that's going to be happening is Bitcoin is going to be featured on the sitcom The Big Bang Theory on November 30th. Now, Big Bang Theory is one of the top rated shows on TV right now. And last year, they had a viewership of over 18 million viewers. Okay. Now, in this particular episode, the guys actually uh, find a laptop by Penny's ex-boyfriend. And they find that he has a ton of Bitcoin on there. Okay. And then the show goes on from there. But again, guys, Bitcoin is now being... Um, introduced into people's homes now again this is one of the top rated shows on television right now and they're going into their 11th season so they have dedicated fans a huge uh, fan base and they have a lot of people who watch the show so there there it is again Bitcoin is becoming mainstream little by little and Bitcoin is not you know this is not the first time Bitcoin has been mentioned on a television program it's also been mentioned on Mr. Robot last season and this season um, almost human and the good wife as well so again this is just the beginning of the you know the Bitcoin name the Bitcoin brand to become a household name right so even if you don't understand anything about Bitcoin you have to understand what's happening right now okay so take heed of what's going on right now because again this is becoming a household name just give it some time and everybody will be not everybody but <laughs> a good majority of the people or a large population or however you want to say it will be using Bitcoin and making transactions through Bitcoin or some type of cryptocurrency guys alright so if you follow my video from on Monday I was talking about over the weekend how there was a Bitcoin war going on between Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash what well, I kinda of give you guys an update of what's happened since the weekend we're on we're right now on coin market cap and as you guys can see Bitcoin has pretty much recovered It's back over the seven three hundred dollar mark Ethereum is still number two, and Bitcoin Cash is still holding on. I sound like I'm a, an announcer at a race. <laughs> but Bitcoin Cash is still at number three, hovering around the 1200 mark, okay? So that's what's going on. People still think that um, at some point, Bitcoin Cash will become number one, especially because everything that happened this past weekend, people are experiencing longer uh, transaction times and higher transaction fees, and whatever the case may be. So because of those two things, if they um, continue... 
um, some people really believe that Bitcoin Cash can actually become number one. So let me know what you think. What do you think about you know Bitcoin Cash becoming number one, and then also about Bitcoin becoming mainstream? I want to open this up for discussion. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to know how I'm actually earning Bitcoin and multiplying my Bitcoin, um, just go to BitcoinLindsay.com. Enter your email, and you'll get all the information right there, guys. So comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.